Hello, and welcome back to another beautiful day in Ark Survival Evolved. This here is Dustin from Purely Evolved Gaming, and today we are back on the Ragnarok server, um, which is also the Gamer's Ark server. So, I'm thinking that today we're going to tame up a frog. So, between this episode and the last one, I did tame up this Fiomia. It was a high level one, so I just went for it. Um, it's just going to be a source of poop for our crops that we have growing now. Um, and then as soon as we get a dung beetle, we'll be able to make a lot of fertilizer off of this. So I'm going to uh, probably get some more Fiomias as well. Uh, usually only one dung beetle is enough. Oh, there's our crops down there if you don't know where they're at. Right by our water well there. Uh, usually one dung beetle is enough because they'll make a ton of fertilizer. And the fertilizer usually lasts a long time. Um, so I found this taming pen that someone else built. Uh, it looks like it has been used for a while. Um, it is right next to some metal nodes, but I'm going to be using this to drop a frog into because the swamp area is right over here. So we're going to try to find the highest level frog that we can. Um, it's just got to be able to collect some of the Meganera for some cementing paste. So shouldn't be too hard to find one. Uh, there was a lot of Capros over here earlier. Um, I'm not too fond of them. They do knock you off your mounts. Not sure if they can knock me off the RG way up here, but I flew around on scorched, scorched earth with my Griffin before, and I was about this high up, and a Capro did knock me off, so I am going to be kind of cautious when flying through here. So uh, let's see if we can find some frogs hopping around here. Lots of Dimorphs. And lots of sarcos. Okay, I guess we'll just keep flying along this coast here. There's another Fiomia down there. A diplo? Yeah, level 114. That's not bad. And there's some sarcos and stuff over here. Avoid those. Uh, I don't see any frogs along the beach here. I was really hoping. Oh, there's a frog see what this one is. Level 30. Oh, that is poop. Okay. Should honestly just pick that up and kill it so that a new one spawns in. But, maybe later. There's a frog over here. It's a, uh, and a Dimetrodon. Oh god, that's my bird. Let's go like this. Ooh, that's a high level to measure now. Level 24 frog. Um, ooh, what's this one? Level 162. Alright guys, we found our prospect over here. Let's go ahead and pick him up if we can. Alright, got him. It's like a purplish color, that's different. Now we gotta find our way back to this taming pen over here. So, hopefully it's not too far away. Shouldn't run out of stamina, I did crank that up quite a bit. Um, I usually do crank that up because that's one of the things that's most important when you have a flyer is to have enough stamina so you're not uh, running out halfway through your flight. There's also a high level griffin somewhere along here. He was like a 174. Thinking that's a possible tame there. But we're going to have to get a really fast pteranodon to, to get that. So we're going to drop this guy in here. Hopefully, I don't think it can jump out. Can it fit through there? Okay, it can't fit through there either. That's good. So let's land over here. And I am going to see if I have any bullas on me. I'm not sure if the bullas work on them or not, but we'll find out. Oh, 
Okay, it looks like it worked a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and shoot him in the face a few times. Once this guy breaks loose, we're going to run for it because he does have a torpor inducing tongue swipe thing that we're going to try to stay clear of. Okay, just like. Oh god, fit through the door. Uh actually let's uh let's pull him one more time. Okay, that works. So let's check real quick what it's at. Oh come on. Oh, it's really darn close. Okay. Let's say one more shot should do it. Yep, there we go. Alright. So, this frog is knocked out. I'm not sure how how fast this torpidity drains. Um, but let's drop some raw meat on him. Just a few narcotic, I guess. And I don't know how long this should take to tame up. But I am really digging this purple color right here. That's, that's pretty cool looking. I apologize for not having as many episodes on this server as of lately. I have been spending the majority of my time on Ragnarok, or not Ragnarok, uh, Scorched Earth, um, since we just started on that server, just trying to get us established on there. And I have been doing a lot of surviving the island, um, trying to get that series moving along. So it's really weird to see frogs again because on Scorched Earth there are no frogs. So I'm just really happy to have something that I can collect cementing paste with and not have to go around and farm up chitin and stone to get it. So let's uh, just kind of chill over here for a little bit. Um, I might actually get some of this metal if I can. I know I can get a lot more with the Anki, but I don't have the Anki over here, so we're just going to hit this for a while and my RG does have a lot of weight leveled up on it or I guess could have a lot more but it's enough for now so we're just gonna dump all this metal on the RG I have also been looking for some sources of oil on this map um, I know there's a lot of nodes over here for like oil pumps and stuff but I cannot build the oil pumps without the fabricator and to build the fabricator you need oil so I don't really know where to go to get oil except for the ocean um, so if you guys know of any other areas where there's like stuff that you can kill that gives you oil please let me know I'm really curious to find out where I can get oil we're just gonna keep hitting this rock I guess didn't know there was this many in the same spot. But that's okay. Keep dumping it on the RG. Sorry about that. Okay. So got rid of all that. Got almost. Got 269 metal there, so that's good. Got a good load out of that. Let's see what this guy's at. 14.3% and its torpidity does look like it drains pretty fast. So let's give it some narcotic. And I will bring you guys back as soon as this guy is closer to being tamed. Um, so I'll see you then. Alright guys, we're back, and this frog is nearly close to being tamed. It's at 93.2% right now. Um, the taming effectiveness surprisingly went down a lot. It's at 92.7%, but we still gained 75 levels out of that, so it'll be way over 200 for the level, probably around 230-something. So, that's okay with me. Uh, Stats right now don't look too bad. Hopefully they get a little bit better. 
Okay, so we're at 96.8% now, so it shouldn't be too long, and we should have this guy tamed. I was looking, and the saddle requires cementing paste, wood, and fiber, I believe. I don't know, we'll have to check when we get back. Um, I'm pretty sure that's crafted at the smithy. Um, where's saddles? There's saddles. Uh... Oh, never mind. It's crafted here. Okay, so yeah, I use this Mendy paste, fiber, hide, and wood. And we have the hide and the wood at base. We'll just have to go and get it. And here is our frog. Um, so I am not going to take name suggestions for this one because I already have a good name. Kermit. Alright, so let's put this guy on passive and take it off follow. We'll grab our RG real quick and pick him up. So tamed out at level 236. That is not bad at all. Um, so we'll fly up here to base and we'll craft up a saddle for it real quick. And then we might come down this hill and see if we can find some Meganera real quick to try and get some cementing paste. So we'll go ahead and drop this guy here real quick. And we'll land over here. Did not think that my area here would be filling up with creatures so fast, but I guess it's not a bad thing. Except we're going to need to expand soon. That's the only bad thing. So let's find some hide. Take about 170. I think that's what it needed. Yeah. And then 30 wood. Okay, we have no wood. Okay, so we're gonna go cut down some trees. And good thing I got some trees close near my base. So let's quickly chop some wood here. Alright, so we should be able to craft it up right now. There we go. So we'll fly back over here real quick while it's crafting up. And frogs over here. So let's go ahead and saddle this guy up. And real quick, I'm going to enter its stats. So for health, it had 1760. Um, stamina was 779. Food 6300. Weight 275. That's not bad. It's actually pretty good for a frog. Um, melee is at 313. That is pretty good as well. And speed's at 200. So just enter that as well. I always put the stats here if it's pretty high level because when I breed I'm able to see where it is mutated and it just makes it a lot easier as I progress in the game. So let's go ahead and we actually have a level up already. Let's go ahead and put a point into weight there and let's get rid of some of the stone I guess real quick. Throw it on the doe head. Okay so that's gone. Do we have anything else that's really heavy? More stone. Uh, let's throw the wood on there, I guess, too. Bear trap. And we'll get rid of the crossbow. Actually, let's swap these out real quick. I know that's a better crossbow there, but its durability is about worn out. So let's not have that wear out on us in the middle of our adventure here. Open. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, that was cool. We just kind of glitched through the door there. That was... That's pretty awesome. So the frogs can jump pretty high. As you can see. But you gotta watch that fall damage because it will drain your health pretty quick. So let's just keep going down here. There's a 
calicotherium there, whatever you want to call them. And there's a monkey. Okay, hopefully there is no, uh, there is Enos down here. Except kind of mess with us. Usually I see a ton of Mega Nera flying over here. This will probably be the day where I don't see any. Well, let's at least kill this Dilo. Oh, it's a high level Dilo. Okay. Works, I guess. Um, let's wait for this blinding effect to wear off. And we shouldn't have harvested that. Should have left it there. In case there are any Mega near it, they will come down here. So I guess we can just hop around up on top here. See if we can find any flying around. Oh, this is glitchy. Okay. Oh, there's Eno. Run. Another there's Eno. Keep running. Ah, uh, Iguanodon's running. Okay. a raptor okay well let's go back over here and see if we can't find something really easy to kill not that calico there let's actually stay away from the therizino Okay, well, I don't see any bugs, which is really weird. Usually there's just tons of bugs over here. No, maybe let's drop it in a different area. I know that further over by where my trap is, there's a. I saw some earlier there. So let's go ahead and just grab this guy and fly over there. Let's cross this bridge over here. Hopefully, there's not too many orgies or anything over here. I will fly kind of close to the ground here in case we do come across any Mega Nera on our way over here. We can just drop this guy down and we can proceed with wiping them out. My RG also has a level up. Nice. Dimorphs over here. I think there's some Kentros up the hill there. So let's not get too crazy over here. There's got to be some Megamir over here. I know it. Hopefully there's no Raptors either. Oh. What's going on here? Yep, there's a Raptor.
How many raptors are there? Oh geez, there's a lot of raptors. Oh man, I did not see that. Oh, and there's a Carno. Oh geez, I did not see him there. Hit him pretty well. Guess we'll just keep flying this way. Till we come across some Mega Nera. I know the best place to find the bugs would probably be on the bottom of this canyon. This is also a very dangerous place, so we're gonna try to stay away from there too. Just metal in that river. It's a rock. Another metal note here. Come on, where's some bugs? There's a water vein there around that tree. It's different. It's obsidian over here. I need to venture this way more. There's nothing over here. We're gonna have to stop for stamina real quick. Oh geez, he almost fell off the side. That that was terrifying. So yeah, I've been dead over there, knocked out knocked off my mount by some micro raptors, and that was fun. That's where I lost the mammoth, because I also got ganged up on by some baryonyx and some spinos. So that was that was a very fun day. Go ahead and pick this guy back up. We need to kill some stuff or something to attract these bugs. Oh, that was a raptor. I was like, what the heck just fell from the sky? Again, let's avoid them. Just looking for some bugs, not not death. That's it's not what we're here for. There you go. Lots of copies. Lots of copies. Um, let's keep going down here. There's a lot of Fiomias over here. There we go. Alright, so I think we're fairly safe here. Let's try and wipe these out.
yeah, you can get a crap ton of cementing paste by doing that. And it's the right click that like has the upwards tongue swipe. So you're able to actually actually hit the bugs. So we got a decent amount of cementing paste from that, and I'm not able to get this because of my stupid turning radius. There we go. Alright, so we did find some bugs finally. And as you can see, you can collect up a large amount of cementing paste by using the frog. So let's get this guy back to base. Uh, it's a long ways there. From the other side, my balls on the outside of my base looks like a castle sitting on top of this rock, and it looks pretty sweet. But, uh. Yeah, I'm liking it. Well, let's actually put a point into. Wait. So I'll have that metal on there. So let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got 52 cementing paste and 69 chitin. So, most of it will get turned into cementing paste, but you will get a decent amount of chitin still from it. Uh, we got seven level ups. What should we level up? Let's get this up to 300. And I'm thinking that we should... Let me get this up to 1,000. This up to 2,000. So we're going to have to get a few more level ups here, but shouldn't be too far away. So, Kermit has killed some bugs and it is now nighttime so I think we're gonna call the episode good for now so if you like this video at any point in time please leave it a like and if you want to see more content like this please subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below goodbye